<clears throat> Good morning. We're at the uh, Hewers Hut in Newquay. For me, this hut kind of epitomises the word community. In fact, it's like um, it's like a visual representation of the word community. You know, common unity. There's a common goal, a common uh, theme that can unify and bring people together. So community. But this this epitomises that, and we and I think it's something that we need we need to make more of. Consider this. You know, the hewer would come here and he'd stay here, live in here. The community, the people of this small town called Tower and Blister back then, would bring food and drinks and look after him and wood for his fire, keep him warm. And his sole job was to look out here, look over the bay and look for the pilchards, look for those oil slicks. And when he saw those oil slicks coming off the oily skin of the pilchards, he'd kind of climb up there or stand over here on the cliff with his brushes in his hands just crying, heaver, heaver, sending those sound waves from his voice all the way down to the little tiny harbour, tiny harbour. Didn't even have our beautiful harbour we've got now. And out would come the boats with their huge nets. And he'd point to where, you know, he, would, he, would, he, would, he was the one that would signal and make sure they knew exactly where they were going. He'd direct them, this one person. And they would follow his directions and they'd cast their nets and they'd catch all these, these beautiful pilchards. And it worked so well, they'd take them back to their tiny harbour and on the, on the beach there and they'd land the nets with the help of the whole of the small town. You know, children were there pulling the nets in, the wives were pulling the nets in. And then they'd pack all those pilchards in the barrels and put them in salt and put it on and off they'd go and they'd sell them on the little, little train. But the thing is, think about what's actually happening. So there's one person up here living up here like a little hermit knew that that was his sole job to ensure that the people of this tiny town could come out to catch the pilchards to be able to you know sell them to feed their families it was such a brilliant case of teamwork and working together but it gets better than that this message gets better than that these people this person the money that they obtained it wasn't just for them they collectively had a goal a common goal and it unified them they all came together and they shared their, their their money their purse and it helped build this whole town they built a new harbor they did it the community the people of this town did it. they built a brand new key a new key in the harbor the town grew they built more houses hence why we have new key now but what, what, a, what a message to teach our young the message is that you know when a community, when a, a collection of people who live in a, a town or wherever they live have a common goal, a common interest, if they work together, massive things can be achieved. They built a town. The irony is that this beautiful building, which, as you can see, look at it, it's stunning. It's over 500 years old. It nearly, it nearly disappeared. No. It's kind of a bit of tell of what's going on in society and maybe the society of this town, that this nearly disappeared. But here comes the, the beauty of it. There was a collection of people in this town that knew the story of this, that knew how important this is to the town. It built this town. It was a common unity of people that came together because of this, the Hewer's Hut, which helped them buy the pilchards. And a, a, and a selection of people went, no, we cannot let this just fall into rack and ruins. We can't let it disappear because how can we teach that to our children, the next generation? And it was a small group of people that got together and told the people who were kind of in charge of this town, no, this is too important. And it was so important, look at it now. It's almost been brought out of the ashes. And the beauty of this now, I, can, I, can, I use this to teach many, many children. Literally now, thousands of children have been to this very spot and learnt about the history of the Hewers Hub and more importantly, that, that beautiful morality story of community coming together and how things can be achieved if we work together. It's just ironic that it nearly disappeared. It was like as if they didn't care. It was like as if too many people were only worried about themselves and about what they could get out of the community. 
but it was that one small group that went, no, this is our community. If we lose that, we lose the beauty of Newquay. And I, I absolutely love this town. And I'm happy that I can use this as a, as a wonderful, wonderful teaching aid. So just think about this. If you want to try and explain the word community, uh, having a place in a society, working together, teamwork, this is the place to come and teach them about it. I would love every person in every town where they live, find this place, find that historic building that back in the day helped people come together in such a way that they built the towns. They built the towns, the people, the people were in charge of their towns, they lived there. And I think we could be losing that a bit. When you work together, huge things can be achieved, especially in a very close communities who work to a common goal, it will unify you. I, I, I honestly believe that. So there you go, a wonderful, beautiful Hewers Hut. And just check out this view from here. Look at this. And the stunning Newquay. I'm proud to say that's my community, my town, where my children are growing up. Thank you very much, the Hewer, the Hewer's Hut, and all the people back in the day who built this town for us. Thank you very much.